finally going to be adding an aftermarket stereo to the 64 GTO. Now, this is not going to require, or should not require any modifications to the dash. As I said in the last episode, I'm going to try to keep it original looking in there. So what I went with was a custom audio sound stereo that is for the 64 to 67 and it's supposed to give me the kind of stock appearance as you can see. Now that's actually a digital display when it's powered on but as you can see right now this should look pretty stock in there. It's got all the, the wires and everything back here so Let's go ahead and just get to installing it. Now so far with looks, it's got a couple different knobs. I went with this combination. That knob matches that one a lot better than any of the others that came with it. Now, if you look behind it, still exposed a little bit. But that looks a lot better than a hole in the dash for sure. And no modifications went in. And honestly, looking back, can't hardly tell so so far so good now the fun part the wiring but before I forget the auxiliary cord on this is a little different than the normal auxiliary cord because it has a red and white end component ends on the end of the stereo instead of like just a single prong is really like this on the back side of the radio so the wire they provide is the one to use Now it says I can't play copyrighted music. I got it turned down, but there is the stereo. It does play very well. Hit that button. There's the time. I haven't set it yet, but you know, it's there, so you can swap it back and forth. Hit auxiliary. Now when you turn it off, perfect. Turn it back on. Now what I'm gonna do go ahead got my phone here hooked up a Xerox cord see it comes down here but ain't much I can do about that hello and welcome back now today I'm traveling to Rome Oklahoma for the I Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, it doesn't sound bad. The aux works, and well, it's pretty easy install. All right, there it is. Now, this is a step in the right direction. Now, I know it's not a lot, but at least I broke out of the broke out of there and changed something. Got some progress done on this car. I know he would have loved it. I love it. Kind of awesome the fact that it looks so original. Pretty well. I mean, it looks like stock radio. No one would probably know the difference. And yet, you can hook up something and play music. Hook up an iPod. Have no ads. All that good stuff. So, it's a short episode, but it's pretty much needed. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, thanks for watching.